Hey, what's up YouTube? Russ Navarra here. I just want to go over the uh, powder coat. Uh, I have a little time this morning. Uh, do a quick video. Uh, give you an idea what I'm, I'm doing. I won't go into a lot of detail. Uh, and I'll just kind of explain some things. So uh, let's get started. Okay, I got this uh, control box uh, out of the trash at work, uh, dumpster diving. Uh, but it, I think it's going to work good for, I've got my uh, solid state relay. I've got other stuff coming. I got me a uh, off on switch. I don't know. I'm going to try to put it on here somewhere to control my fans and what have you. Uh, the box, uh, we change these out periodically. They get a little rust or something in there. Uh, some of the bottoms rust a little bit, so they just go ahead and change them out uh, just to, uh, you know, be be safe or whatever. And this was one of them that well, it was one of the better ones that I got out of the trash. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to work quite well. I think what I'm going to do with this is just try to take my Dremel and break that uh, little key deal off the nub and I'll just use a screwdriver to open and close it. Um, I bought me, uh, you know, one of these small strips here. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm gonna, but I, I may have it come in, you know, just hang down here and then wire it in direct. That way I have uh, 110. And these are my hinges, or my door hinge support, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, I have the hinge around here somewhere. But the way this is going to work is I bought these Stanley uh, hinges. It's hard to do this. Anyway, this is how it's going to work. And, uh, well, I can't even hold on to it. But anyway, I'm going to put one of these on each side. If I quit dropping it, and you guys get the idea. It's going to go there. And then these I'm going to mount on the side here. That way I've got a full... All these will line up. And I've made it just enough to where it's about a enough of the the sheetrock will stick through to where i'll have uh, four of these going up and down four hinges may be too much for the door uh but you know there's going to be a lot of weight there it's going to be open and closed a lot so and as you can see here uh i've taken some rtv uh i guess it's rtv it's an off brand you can get it lowe's or whatever uh, i'm just using it out of a, a caulking gun sometimes it's hard to come out of this so you know i had to improvise and cut it pretty good there um, but you can see where i've went and then i've i gotta finish that up clean it up a little bit i welded it uh, i'm gonna cover all of it like i have here uh with this heat uh shrink or heat tape I've done a lot of walls with it and then I've got down there I'm going to put a blower motor in down here I think it's gonna help a little bit and then I'm gonna make a little vent to uh, kind of circulate the the heat around I got my floor in it's pretty solid um, you have to excuse the mess. There's my screws I've been using. A lot of people use rivets and things, but uh, I just, the screw's a lot easier for me. Uh, after I've done uh, the RTV, uh, I've been going back over it with the heat tape. Uh, I'm going to have a floor within a floor. I'm going to insulate this floor, and then I'm going to 
put some galvanized steel that's probably what I'm going to use on the walls right now I'm waiting Amazon hasn't uh, delivered my uh, insulation but you guys can get the idea of that you know I'm not sure how I'm going to do the the roof on this uh, I do I am going to probably put a false ceiling you know put my insulation up in here and then run uh, some more of the metal two by fours across uh, i just haven't decided how i'm going to do it uh this one here i don't know i got my measurement off so i'm gonna have to move it over just a little bit i mismeasured it or or something i i don't know what happened uh but it's it's about a eighth of an inch off and I, I just don't like the way you know I'll know it's there and then when I put the uh, metal on it it's going to be uh, off to where my screws aren't going to line up so I want to try to get them all lined up I'm going to uh, change some things on the door uh, I'm not liking the window I think I'm going to go with a smaller window or I may shorten that one and try to cut the glass myself uh, it's just too big, um, not, you know, it, it's, I'm not, just not feeling it, so, uh, more later on that. Well, that's about all I have for you today, guys, to keep you updated on the powder boat booth, uh, powder coat. I, I've got that on my mind, too. I'm fixing to build a powder coat booth, and I'll bring you along on that, but we, we need to finish this other project up. But uh, the powder coat oven is coming along. Like I said, I've ordered some stuff. Uh, I may go into the wiring of it. I don't know yet. You know, like I said, I'm limited on time. Uh, work a lot of hours. So, you know, what spare time I do have in the evenings when I get off after work. Um, and, you know, sometimes... Uh, I get the weekend, you know, but most of the time I'm catching up on things, mowing the yard and, and what have you. But I just want to bring you along for the ride, show you, you know, you can build this inexpensive. Right now, I think total with the stuff I ordered off of Amazon and that, I have about $250 in the materials, like the insulation. Uh, my uh, solid state relay, I had one, but I ordered an extra one. Uh, I think my uh, burners, uh, I'm still ch checking into them, you know, what ones I can use with the solid state relays. I, I've noticed a lot of guys are using just one. Uh, I think I'm going to go with two that way. There won't be that much, uh, and I can uh adjust my heating elements uh individually uh so i may use two controllers i haven't decided yet right now i'm going to see what the one controller uh is going to do and we'll get more into that when i you know go ahead and cut the box out and everything so i'm going to make a spot for another uh relay and stuff like that so you know if, if it don't work i can just go individually and, and we'll just see what happens. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, I know this video, uh, some of them haven't been, you know, the best. Uh, like I said, I don't do this every day and I'm trying the best I can. And it's, you know, you just, when you're limited on time and wing it, you, you just sometimes, uh, you know, I don't research anything or, or whatever. I just kind of wing it. And, and I've seen enough YouTube videos and watched enough on these PID controllers that I think that's the best route. Uh, I still have an oven on the side that if I do decide, I may just go with it. But I, I really want to go, you know, try to go inexpensive, but I don't want to cheap. Uh, if you know what I mean and you know that's just part of the process I guess like you live and learn and I was trying to get out as cheap as I could uh, like I said I got the main frame or whatever you want to call it from from work they was gracious enough to let me get it and uh, you know I knew it'd make a good powder coat oven and it's just going to take a little time so 
hopefully you guys will stay tuned uh, keep watching my YouTube videos like share comment subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down but uh, thanks for watching my videos and once again we will see you in the next video